Hi, uh, I am Dikshit. Uh, in this video, we will talk about uh, Yocto project setup uh, for Raspberry Pi. So basically, we will uh, cover uh, this entire process in three steps. One is uh, to download the code. Second is to compile it. And third is to flash it on the Raspberry Pi port. Now, uh, let's start with the first step. So, uh, as you can see, uh, I have opened uh, Yocto's uh, uh, quick build uh, documentation. Here, uh, it mentions uh, the steps to be followed to download the uh, and code base. Here, uh, the first prerequisite is to uh, install all the host packages which are needed to set up uh, Yocto and make it work. So, we have already installed all those tools. So, we will go ahead and do the next part which is downloading the uh, Pokey which means Pokey is nothing but uh, uh, reference distribution created for uh, Yocto it does not contain anything specific to Raspberry Pi okay meanwhile uh, this is getting fetched uh, we will need to uh, download Raspberry Pi specific uh, layer so as you can see there is a meta Raspberry Pi which is nothing but a very basic uh, and foundation layer required to build anything uh, in Yocto for Raspberry Pi so we will go ahead and download the Raspberry Pi layer as well inside the Pocket Direct uh, please note we are not specifying any uh, branch name here so it will by default fetch the master branch once uh, this is downloaded uh, as I mentioned it, it we haven't specified any uh, branch name so it's on the master branch so we will change the branch to Scarthcap which is nothing but uh, latest supported Yocto version by Raspberry Pi layer so we will uh, change the branch uh, as you can see uh, we can see in the git log that the branch has been changed now uh, Pokey the reference distribution should also have the same version of the Yocto which we have set for the Raspberry Pi so we will change the branch name for Pokey as well with this we have downloaded all the required source code so we will move to the next step now step two compiling the source code we will again go to the uh, quick build documentation as you can see uh, we need to follow these steps so we'll go to the book directory and we use this source OE in it it is nothing but enabling the entire Yocto environment before actually compiling we will need to do some slight modifications first one is to add our meta raspberry pi layer in the conf bblayers.conf and second is to specify the machine name for raspberry pi so we have raspberry pi 4b once that is done we will apply the build command which is bitback rpi test image So the build is started as you can see this generally takes few hours depends on your uh, machine spec mine is little bad spec so it takes around four to five hours for me for a clean build we encountered this build error here and as usual we googled and found the solution we will need to copy this part into our local.conf i am also adding this raspberry pi specific configuration i will explain this later sometime and we will re-trigger the build one eternity later the build is successful we can go to the output images directory and see the files which are generated the 
this WIC is the main file which contains our Raspberry Pi specific binaries like kernel, bootloader and rootfs. Now the third and final step, flashing the images on the Raspberry Pi board. The output image file which got generated is a BZ2 compressed file. We will need to decompress it using BZ2 tool. This is the final image file which we will flash on the SD card. Currently I have not attached the SD card to this computer. So I can see only one block device SDA. Now when I connect my SD card, I can see SDB device also. We will first erase this SDB device which is memory card and then use a command line tool called DD to flash this WIC image on the SD card. Here I am using Gparted utility to erase this memory card. The partitioning need not to be done manually because that is being taken care by WIC file itself. detach and attach the memory card to the computer again we will form the dd command where as input we are giving this image file and output is our sdb which is a block device for memory card The coping is completed. Detach and attach the memory card to the computer again. We will do some customization on the boot partition of the Raspberry Pi for a serial port configuration. We will mount the boot partition to a MNT directory and we will modify config.txt we will talk about it later sometime what does this config.txt do and how we can have our own config.txt in our Yocto package unmount and eject the memory card from the computer Insert the memory card to the Raspberry Pi board. The UART console connection has to be made as per this diagram. I am connecting this UART wires with my computer using a USB to UART converter. Start the serial console tool. Here I have Minicom and power on the board. Wait for a few seconds. If everything was good, you should see this console output. Here I have my Raspberry Pi board booted with my locally built Yocto image. This is a very basic Yocto build setup without any customization. Now we will do customization and create our own 
custom Linux distribution for this Raspberry Pi port. Thank you for watching.